Hey guys, I've got a Top 5 Tuesdays for you. This is a series I do in collaboration with the Glam Dr. Mona here on YouTube. Definitely go check out her channel and her video. I will link it down below in my description box. Today we are talking about foundations because we have not done uh, a Top 5 Foundations in a long time and I was thinking back to the original one that I did or, or the most recent one that I did, I should say, and my list has pretty much completely changed. It was very difficult, very, very difficult. I have a lot of foundations in my collection that I love for many different reasons. And so the five that I'm, you know, listing as my top five are the ones that I, I really just kind of like opened up my drawers and just like picked, like, love this, love this and just kind of stopped myself at five. And I kind of reviewed it a little bit and I made one change. But like I said, I, I have so many foundations that I really, really love and I could have easily done a top 10. And I know, I know many of you are gonna be very, very tempted to write down there in the comment section, well, what about this one? Well, what about this one? If I reviewed the foundation and I loved it, I, I still I still do, unless I've talked about how I've changed my mind about it or whatever, but there's plenty of foundations that I really love that I just was not able to mention in this top five. Because we've only got room for five, we're only gonna be talking about five, I promise you that. Oh, before we start, I just wanna quickly mention, I had hauled um, like an H&M jacket, it was ivory colored, and it was too big for me. So I just wanted to mention that I got a smaller size, this is the medium, and they didn't have the medium in the cream color, so I got the black color and this fits so much better. So it's like this Chanel <laughs> style jacket and it actually hits me like almost mid thigh. So I think it can be used as like outerwear. It could be used as kind of like a blazer situation and the buttons here have like bees on them. So it's a really cute piece and I really like it for spring. It just, it has like a nice weight, but I'll link this down below in the description box if you are interested. I know a lot of you ask sometimes like what I'm wearing, which still baffles me. Thank you guys so much. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that. So let's go ahead and start with the one that's on my face and this is the Surat uh, Dewdrop Foundation. This is probably one of the newer foundations to my collection, um, but this was introduced late last year and this was my foundation pick for 2019. I just absolutely love it. Uh, and I think I mentioned it when I reviewed this uh, foundation, but it's like, if I wanted to create a foundation, this would be it. This is the coverage that I would want, which is like a light, light medium, buildable to almost a medium, but I wouldn't even go there. This is just sort of a light medium foundation. It has just a completely light weightless feeling on the skin, but there is this really beautiful luminosity. It's almost like a subtle version of adding one of those like liquid highlighters into your foundation just to kind of give your skin that pearly sheen. This has it built in and it's a more subtle, refined kind of version of that. And I just love the way it makes my skin look. It almost makes light reflect off so that it is very, very blurring. It is very luminous looking without any kind of just blatant shininess or uh, greasiness or oiliness or anything like that. It is just beautiful luminosity. And I think in combination with this like light medium coverage is perfect because you don't need a lot of coverage when you have something that's so blurring. It almost like tricks the eye into seeing like a fuller coverage, but it's really just more of like this blurring kind of like gauzy effect that your skin gets. Instead of using just like pigment to kind of just cover up your skin, it's using something else to give your skin that perfected look. And it's just fabulous. I have very, very dry skin. I have mature skin. So it's absolutely perfect for me. I don't feel like this is one of those foundations that's good for dry skin that is not good for oilier skin types because the radiance isn't in the actual kind of like texture of the formula. Uh, the texture of the formula is very, very light. So I could actually see this working on oily skin. I don't know for sure because I don't have oily skin, but it definitely is, I think, just absolutely perfect for drier skin. So that is the Surat Dewdrop Foundation and I have it in the shades four and three. And today I basically have four all over. When I'm feeling a little bit more pale, a little bit whiter, <laughs> I will use uh, three. Sometimes I use a combination. I'll use four on my forehead, three on the rest of my face. But today I just felt like using four. So that's what I have on my face today. Okay, number two on my list. This is a definite. The Sisley uh, Tinted Sunscreen Cream. I use number one, Natural. Um, for my shade. And the uh, sunscreen in here is um, 
physical sunscreen, sorry, I was like, what's the word? Physical sunscreen instead of a chemical sunscreen. So there's titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in here. And I remember resisting using this for a very long time because there was a YouTuber on here. Oh, um, I think it was a little bit, etc. She's a YouTuber that I follow here, but she has a very different skin type than mine. I believe hers is more of like kind of a combo oilier skin type. She raved about this, she raves about this, and I thought, well, it's probably not gonna work for me because my skin is so dry. Finally, I decided to give it a shot. It is stupendous. The coverage of this is definitely like a medium coverage. There's definitely some good coverage going on. And because it's like a sunscreen, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out. Because it's like a sunscreen, I don't know if you guys can see that, sorry, but the top of this is disgusting. Um, it's a very kind of like thick lotion-y kind of consistency. And so you kind of rub it in and it really just feels like you're putting like lotion on, like a sunscreen lotion on. It doesn't have like a funky sunscreen smell. It smells more like, like a spa, like a Sicily smell versus like a sunscreen smell, which I also appreciate. But it's water resistant for um, up to 40 minutes. And I just love how this looks. It's so skin-like, even though it has some pretty decent coverage, it doesn't look heavy at all. Even though it has kind of like a thicker kind of like lotion consistency, it doesn't look heavy at all. It just feels great on the skin. It lasts all day. And my issue with a lot of bases that have sunscreen, especially physical sunscreens or tinted sunscreens or things like that they look pretty good when you put them on usually I'm very happy with them upon initial application but as the day goes on I feel like the pigment in the foundation and the SPF kind of separate and so I start to see this kind of like powdery sunscreen like you know around my nose sometimes on my forehead sometimes like down here like around my mouth and my chin area and I always just figured that was inevitable like you know what are you going to do that there's sunscreen in there and yes it's going to act differently than like the rest of the foundation but it never happens with this you never ever see the actual sunscreen in this this is really just like such a magical product and it's SPF 30 and I love it I love it this is definitely a, t a long time top five of mine and I can't remember if this was in my last top five foundations anyway definitely in this top five foundations so speaking of tinted sunscreens the La Mer Reparative Skin Tint. This is another SPF 30. This one has a much lighter coverage than the Sisley, and I like to use this on the days where I just, I'm kind of doing like a no makeup makeup look. If I just wanna, you know, maybe throw something on, but I want a little bit more than just sunscreen, I want a little bit of, you know, complexion evening, this is great. And I use it in the shade Light 02, and this has a mixture of physical and chemical sunscreens in there, just so you know. So there's octanoxate, octosalate, and then there's also titanium dioxide. Dioxide. So this is basically just like a lighter version of the Sicily. It also doesn't last quite as long as a Sicily. I mean, I get a good, you know, like full day out of it, seven, eight hours. Um, definitely less than that if I'm like out and sweating a lot, but it's definitely decent, but I wouldn't say it's like long wearing. Like the Sicily is like long wearing. I feel like I can wear that all day, even through sweating, even if I'm sitting by the pool, like all of that. And I feel like the Sicily kind of stays put. This is a little bit lighter in every way, lighter in appearance, lighter in coverage, lighter in texture, also lighter in its longevity. So this is great for those just everyday applications. Again, when I just don't feel like doing much and I just want to throw something on, this is wonderful. And I had heard a long time ago that they were discontinuing this. They're not, many of you told me I was wrong. It's just something that I had heard and they were out of stock of most of the colors for a very long time. And so I, you know, I just wasn't sure what was going on and it looks like they're restocking the colors and it's back. So I'm really, really happy, even though I have a backup of it, <laughs> but I'm really happy that this is still around. Let me show you my number four pick and that's the Chanel uh, Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I just find this product just so, I don't know, it's just, it's so fascinating. It's like so much fun to put on. <laughs> it feels so, so lovely on the skin. And I was actually surprised at myself when I opened up my drawer, I just reached for it and I just grabbed it and I put it on my shelf and I thought, really, is this one that you would pick as your top five? And I really do love this. It is, it's very unique. You know, it has those like little pigment bubbles in there and it's all suspended in this very kind of like water-based gel. It feels very, very cool on the skin. And you do get a nice kind of like tint. It is very light coverage, very light coverage. 
I won't lie to you, it's not gonna give you a ton of coverage, definitely not. And in fact, a lot of people use this as a primer, which you can. This is a very versatile product, but I just really love this as a very lightweight coverage foundation. As you guys know, and you guys can probably tell from my picks, um, that I do prefer, you know, lighter coverage foundations. And now that the warmer months are coming up, this is gonna come back out because this came out last summer and it was just absolutely perfect. It, you know, it felt cool, it was light, um, the gel, it just was so, so great for the warmer months and those hot days. And I'm about, I don't know, I guess about halfway through with this bottle and I have a lot of foundation. So for me to get through about halfway is actually not so bad. So that is number four on my list. Oh, and I use shade, it's like medium light. Yeah, medium light. Okay, last but uh, certainly not least, and this particular foundation knocked out uh, a foundation that I, I mean, that I still absolutely love. Again, if I had a top 10, it would definitely appear in the top 10, but the Tom Ford uh, Soft Radiance Foundation, the Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation. I have this in the shade Cool Beige. I don't think this is like a perfect batch for me. I wish it was a little bit more neutral. You can see it has like a little bit of like pinkiness to it, but it works fine. I like mixing it with my NARS uh, Tinted Glow Booster. Like it works fine, but this has a beautiful, beautiful coverage. It is like a medium weight coverage and it's so skin-like, it's so perfecting, and I love that it's really, really long lasting. And I'm gonna tell you which foundation this beat out. This beat out the La Mer. And the reason why this beat out the La Mer is that I find the La Mer just the teensiest bit more like makeup-y looking. I love the La Mer because I think it is flawless. Like if I'm doing like an evening kind of look, I always reach for the La Mer. That's kind of like the fullest coverage I like to go. It's very, very flawless looking, but it has just a little bit of a makeup-y look. And I don't find that with this foundation. This foundation is a little bit more skin-like. It's a little bit more natural looking on the skin, yet it gives you I think a similar amount of coverage to the La Mer. And this also has SPF 50 versus La Mer's SPF 20. So uh, this beats out the La Mer in that regard as well. And I just find myself, you know, reaching for this a lot more. It's like, even when I think about using the La Mer foundation, I've just been reaching for this one. So this one, just beat out my La Mer foundation for this spot. So that is it for my top five foundations. I am so curious to see what uh, Mona picks because she has more of like a combo uh, skin type than I do. And she's also much younger <laughs> than I am. So I am curious to hear her thoughts on this list. And don't forget to check out her video. Again, that'll be linked down below in my description box. And please let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite foundations are. I'm sure there's plenty out there that I haven't tried. And I'm sure there's plenty that I have in my collection that if I could make a top 10 foundation video, I would have no problem filling up that list also. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.